All right, guys, before we get started on today's video, I have two quick announcements. Number one is kind of time sensitive. This Thursday, February the 16th, and if you're watching this video in the future, it's going to be 2023, I'm going to be in Louisville, Kentucky at the National Farm and Machinery Show. There's a link down below to the website that gives the location, uh, the address, directions, all the event information down below. Now, at 1 o'clock on Thursday, I'm going to be at the TYM booth doing a meet and greet with several other YouTube channels. Uh, Hank Hamilton's going to be there, Tony, uh, Daniel Arms. There's going to be a few other guys besides that that will be there at 1 o'clock. So if you're close to Louisville, come on by Thursday at 1 o'clock. I'll be at the TYM booth. I'd like to shake your hand and talk to you for a spell. And as far as how long I'm going to be there Thursday, I think the show ends at five o'clock, so I'll be at the TYM booth at one o'clock and I'll just stick around for the rest of the day. There were several of you guys that's been asking me on Facebook and Instagram if I'm gonna be there on Friday or Saturday or Wednesday, and I'll probably get there Wednesday around one o'clock, but I'll probably just spend the day walking around looking at everything. I've never been to that show before, but I will not be there Friday or Saturday. The meet and greet is Thursday only at one o'clock. So if you're close to Louisville, come by and see me. And number two is, today's video is going to be kind of different. I've been getting a lot of questions on Patreon and Instagram. People have been asking me what it takes to get a log up to the sawmill. They don't mean the equipment, they mean the length of the log. And most of the times when I get logs from tree services or loggers, they're not cut to my length. They're usually like 20 feet, maybe 16 foot, sometimes 30 foot, depends on the log truck. So there's a lot of work that goes into a log before it ever comes up here to the wood miser. Today's video is gonna show you guys that. We'll go down to the log yard where I get my cedar logs at back here in the back corner. And I will show you guys and describe the process on how a log gets from there up here to the sawmill. So thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget, February the 16th at one o'clock, the TYM booth in Louisville, Kentucky. Hope to see you there. Welcome back to the sawmill, friends. We're under the gun today because we got an inch of rain heading our way tomorrow, and I'm not looking forward to that. So we're gonna try to get some stuff done down here in the log yard. Because after tomorrow, it's probably gonna be another four or five days before it dries up enough so we can get down there and do something else. First thing we need to do is get the 574 and put the grapple on it. I've also got to put some new hoses on the grapple as well. Always something to do around here. And would you look at that? About out of diesel as well. Add that to the list. Always something to do. chilly out here today. It was 65 yesterday. I think today the high is only 48. I'll tell you what, if it don't hurry up, it ain't gonna get to 48 today. There's something missing. A good cup of coffee. A thermos, I think, is in the garage. I should have brought it with me. All right, got her filled up, and I got a few slabs over here. We'll grab those on the way down. 
and dump those on the burn pile. guys ran into a small problem right here i got my connections right here to my hydraulic third function valve and this one right here does not want to go on i'm getting ready to use a tool that will fix this but every time i show this on the channel people complain saying you're not doing it right you know there shouldn't be no pressure on it well the reality of it is sometimes there's pressure on it and there's nothing you can do about it besides either use this tool or get in the loader and try to get your joystick and take the pressure off that way. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to bleed the hose off a little. This right here works every time. I bought this about a year ago and it's one of the best things I ever bought, especially for conquering this problem. It puts just enough pressure on there to connect your hoses. There we go, that's all it took. So for you guys out there that are gonna say this is a waste of money, time is money. It took me about five seconds and the hose is on there. The other way of fixing that, going back and forth and taking off the lines, takes a lot longer. Got this on Amazon. If you're interested in it, it may help you out. There's a link down below, go check it out. Good connection. Might as well go ahead and grease it because I can't remember the last time I've done this. Probably been a while. While the hoses are attached, nothing's in the way down here. Let's turn it on and make sure there's no leaks. friends we're down here by the timber frame and right there is my pile of cedar logs there's a good amount in there these on the front are covered up with wood chips because right there is the molder or the uh i guess i would better say the dust extractor for the molder that's where the chips come out and they just fall right here on the ground 
and most of them get blown over there against that pile. Instead of letting this just pile up on the ground, I need to bring my dump trailer down here maybe and start collecting it, I don't know. But what we need to do right now is try our best to start pulling these logs out. And some of these guys are about 20 foot long, maybe even longer. So here's the problem we're gonna have to work around. There's not much of a gap between the timber frame and that pile of logs. A log truck delivered these and he had a loader and he kind of snaked them in back here. So I'm gonna do my best at using the grapple and maybe grabbing the ends of them and dragging them out. And if that don't work, we'll move on to another plan I got in my mind here. I'm not sure how many cedar logs are in here. Seems like I bought a thousand board feet. I can't remember. I think I'm under that one. Let's see if I get a little bit of a purchase there. There we go. Now, I'll see if I can pull it out. Well, we'll do better than that. Try this again. Man alive, that one's probably 20 feet or more. This keeps on coming, look at that.
ladies how we doing tonight you guys doing okay looks like everybody is ready for bed all right guys two quick things here and we'll get started on today's video number one today is kind of a short quit aggravating cats. Every time I try to talk, they try to fight. I'll tell you what. 